Garuda is a arch-based Linux distribution with a slick design and fantastic looks. Hey there Linux fans, welcome back to Alex Realm. I'm your host Alex and today we have an exciting review of Garuda Linux KDE edition. Before we jump into the KDE goodness, let's talk about what Garuda Linux has to offer in terms of desktop environment. Garuda supports a variety of desktop environments. This include the KDE Plasma, aka the Dragonized. We have GNOME, Cinnamon, XFCE, Sway, i3 Window Manager, Qtile, and for the advanced users, there is KDE Lite and Hyperland Edition. Today we'll be focusing on the latest Dragonized KDE Edition. Now let's take a quick look at the system requirements. Garuda Linux isn't particularly resource angry. To run it smoothly, you need 30 GB of disk storage, at least 4 GB of RAM, and a video card with OpenGL 3.3 and above. And your system should be 64 bit. It's great to see a distribution that's both feature rich and with very moderate hardware requirements. It's worth noting that Garuda Linux doesn't support SnapD and Flatpaks out of the box. They actually advise that you should avoid these two whenever possible. Garuda Linux still uses the Pacman package manager and repositories like AUR to make sure you have access to the softwares you need. Before we proceed, the username and password during the live session is Garuda in small caps. Now let's dive into the star of the show, the Garuda Linux KDE Dragonized Edition. Garuda Linux takes the KDE experience to the next level with its dragonized flavor. It's a beautifully themed and customized version of KDE that provides a unique and visually striking desktop environment. What sets the Garuda Linux KDE edition apart are the thoughtful additions and enhancements. The taskbar is meticulously designed, providing easy access to your favorite applications and workspaces. The system tray features a variety of useful widgets, making it a joy to navigate and customize your desktop. Every part of this OS is themed to match the general look and it has this blurring feature for the background whenever a window is open so you can focus on the current window. On the top left, the dragonized KDE label which launches the KDE start menu, very well themed. And here we have the usual application categorization, search, and system shutdown options. On the top right is the sound, connections, and power options. There is also the status and notification panel. On the top middle is the date and calendar, also themed as well. On the dock we have the Garuda Welcome, Spizetas. I'm not sure if that's how it is pronounced, but you have all the application shortcuts in here like Garuda Assistant, Garuda Gamer, Settings Manager, Network Assistant, Boot Options, System Cleaner, Partition Manager and many more. Second we have the Garuda Console, a themed terminal with the Garuda logo and a bit of information about your system. Three we have the Fire Dragon web browser, a modified version of Firefox browser and it ships as the default browser here. For the Dolphin file manager, nothing much here, just a normal file manager with a nice theme on top. Five is the system monitor. This one looks great. Your system usage of resources is displayed here. RAM usage is not that high. CPU usage keeps on fluctuating depending on what apps you are running. Under history, you get the graphical representation of your system usage and generally, the performance on a virtual machine is not as good as installing on an actual PC. 6. We have the snapper tool. 7. Is the settings. It's the normal KDE settings with a nice theme. You can customize your system to your liking. In the about section, the KDE version is 5.27.9. The KDE framework is 5.111.0. The kernel is 6.5.9. Zen 2 kernel and the rest is just your hardware specs. 8. The Octopi Software Store. This add slash remove software is exactly as the name suggests. 
you can add and remove software from your system easily from here. In the previous video we looked at Garuda Linux with GNOME, an older release of Garuda. This one is a continuation of that but with the latest release of Garuda OS and on a different desktop environment. Here you get all those gaming features and probably more. You get all the gaming software here ready to install under the Garuda Gamer. In conclusion, Garuda Linux KDE is a powerful, visually stunning distribution that caters to both beginner and seasoned Linux users. The attention to details in the Dragonized KDE edition truly sets it apart. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to Alex Realm for more open source goodness. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, happy computing.